eternity died talking about something he couldn't even understand sometimes. Generalized love, and he never even backed it up. He shut down. Bullshit. Love is the only weapon with which I got to fight. I got a hell of a lot of weapons to fight. I got my claws. I got compasses. I got guns. I got dynamite. I got a hell of a lot to fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. place that we've all come to know and today we have uh, a new guest we have maddie um let me pull up my shit over here hey uh so welcome maddie to the show um why did Hi. you choose uh why did you choose to do this podcast i've talked to a lot of people um i've heard a lot of people like you know like ah, i don't want to do that shit you know why did you choose to come on um well, I heard Danny did it, so if Danny did it, then it's good enough for me. <laughs> have you uh have you watched any of the previous episodes? Um, I did once uh you guys asked me if I wanted to do it. Um oh. I started I actually I watched Danny's and um some of the earlier ones. I've been meaning to watch the Willy one. <laughs> um Danny uh Danny is the newest one, right? Well, it, I think so. It was one of the newest ones. It, I think uh, it came before the Willy episode, but it ended up getting deleted, and then it got up, uh, re-uploaded recently. Oh, uh, uh, okay. That was a fun, uh, fun adventure there. But uh, no, it's just like, um, yeah, I guess uh, I got a similar mindset. I mean, if I'm seeing these people able to, you know, do it, why not? Why not jump into the when I jump jump into this so uh there's a uh, I actually don't really know you that much I don't think we've interacted uh or maybe we have but I, I just don't remember it uh there's I tend to deal with other people on that um but how long yeah. have you um I guess just like kind of uh who are you and what's your uh what's your story on flirt chat um I probably started in like 2014 or 2015 I used to come on like years before that when I was really young like for the club penguin shit um but I wasn't like super into it I just kind of pop in but I eventually made an account in like 2014 I'd oh, say uh -huh. um yeah and I I kind of uh last time I was on was probably 20 17 or 18 I just kind of quit for a bit and recently came back um but back in the day when I was on um a lot of people know me uh but for the fact that I had a relationship with Purple Haze back in the day um I used to actually go on JBZ a lot more than Flirt but now Flirt is like kind of consumed jbz <laughs> yeah flirt uh seems to be the only real chat as far as i see that really kind of has any uh real activity going on i mean it um it gets full you have um you have all this drama going on all this history um who would you say are the uh so you said you've dated uh dated people on that and i know that Altair is always super interested in that kind of stuff. Um, so that's kind of like what you became known for? Um, people just kind of knew me for the fact that I was dating Purple Haze, but um, that was really the only person I had a relationship with in the past, on Zat at least. Would you support? Do you? What do you think of the uh, idea of people making relationships on Zat? Um, I think it can work, but I don't think that, you know, if you were to meet up with someone and actually start 
a real in-person relationship, I don't think it can stay on Zat because people are just going to try to sabotage it no matter what. Um, people always have something to say. Uh, even if they're not part of your relationship, you know, they always have something to say. Um, back when I did have a relationship with Purple Haze, um, we actually took it off Zat for quite a bit and just like strictly stayed on Skype and talked to each other. Um, and it actually worked a lot better than I think it would have if, uh, we stayed on Zat. Yeah, especially with Flirt Chat, it's, um, kind of a horrible place. I don't know, uh, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, I mean, you guys like it, right? Um, yeah, I love Flirt Chat. I mean, there, there's like a few other chats that pop up here and there that are pretty cool, like, um... I was a main owner at Void Chat um, when that was really popular. Right, right. So, um, mm. this Purple Haze guy, is he one of the, uh, the so-called legends of Flirt? Um, I, he was more of a JBZ legend, I guess. Like a troll, big troll. Um, he's not well-liked, uh. Yeah, people um, like to ship me with other people a lot, um, like Pass, who used to come on. People from your past, uh, people, that is like a common thing on here. Um, there is a lot of uh, shit, like is there, uh, there's a lot of shit talking, there's a lot of uh, drama. Is there anyone that you just like gets under your skin you just don't like? Um, ooh, let me think about that. I guess I would have had to say Luna from Flirt. Luna. I haven't seen them in a while. So. Why Luna? Um, we had issues in the past. They kind of just came at me for no reason. Um, I don't really have an issue with them now, but they'd always be like talking shit about me. And uh, they, they said I uh, hoard myself out for my zap powers and i had to like pull up receipts from paypal <laughs> to show that i actually paid for my shit much of a uh, broke ass people on zat for sure people with no of jobs of course and people and people that have money that they don't know what to do with <laughs> yeah some people are definitely uh kind of rich on flirt i've seen uh it's kind of weird cuz um there was this guy that used to come on, uh, so I'm originally from, uh, I don't know if you've seen it around the Confederate chat. Um, yeah, I remember that. Um, I used to go there and uh, troll the shit out of them, kind of uh, argue with them. And uh, there was this guy that always come on there talking about like, oh, I own property here and I got investments in this shit. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think like, I, I think... Um, it is kind of true what they say that nobody fucking important is actually on flirt. Yeah, and um you know, when people have that kind of shit going on, I feel like no one really wants to come on Zat to talk about their work or what they do for work. Um I mean, it seems more like it's happening more and more like people saying they're programmers and developers and shit like that, but it's like, do you really want to get into all that after your day at work? I don't think so. That's right. just me. But I mean, some people, I mean, for me, I, um, I kind of like, kind of like the smoke. I kind of want that shit. I go on there to kind of stir up shit. Um, it is kind of fun. And I imagine other people find it pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty fun to do as well. Um, do you think the community, like, you said you like the community, but don't you think it is kind of toxic? It is kind of pretty uh, bottom of the barrel as far as it goes? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's so bottom of the barrel. I don't think most people on the internet could even find this website unless they're told about it through word of mouth. Um, but... You know, there is a lot of drama, and I, I find that once you get on Discord, it gets a lot it gets a lot worse, and people get a lot more personal and tend to switch up once you join Discord servers. So 
honestly, just sticking to the chats has been fine for me. One thing about... I actually... Um, oh, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I was going to say, I, I do like, um you know, all the tunes that come on and... I was just about to get to that. Um, I was going to say, I what's don't... what's the deal with the tunes? There are definitely a lot of them. I think it's kind of like the new art of trolling. Like, you know how people used to just spam the chat, like, years ago with disgusting shit. Mm -hmm. Now it's just talking on tunes and saying how you really feel, I guess. Yeah, like, um, um, tunes are kind of one of the, um, they're nameless, so they can't really be the main characters of, uh, a flirt, but they are kind of like the, the important side cast to it all. And, um, especially if you're having like some sort of beef, some sort of argument with someone, it's always, uh, you always see like the tunes jumping in on that shit, trying to influence shit one way or the other. Uh, but oh, I, also, yeah. I also know that tunes, um, some of the tunes are kind of like known. Some of them are people on alts. Um, would you happen to know any of this? Who, who are the infamous tunes of Flirt Chat? Um, I'd say the biggest one is probably Sin. I never really know who he is until I start having a conversation with him and like seeing how he talks. I never know which tune is him until I like converse with them. But, um... How, do, how does one spot Sin? Um, I guess I do just from previous conversations I've had with him and, um, shit that, like, I've talked about before that he, with him that he brings up again, and yeah. I can kind of just tell. Um, the big thing for Toons to, uh, ask me about now is how my ankle is and, um how my hairy ankle is because I, I broke my ankle. I actually, um, you know, I had a lot of people coming for me and a lot of drama, um, I'd say in June. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually quit for like two weeks and I was focusing on, you know, my real life, um, getting outside more and, uh, I started skateboarding again, and I broke my ankle, and now I'm back on Zat. <laughs> ah, shit, yeah. Yeah, I know um, people spend more time on Zat. Uh, Dennis likes to reminisce about how uh, during COVID was a time when he really, uh, you know, rose to prominence on Zat, and he claims uh, created Willy and Ben and all these creatures and characters of his uh, imagination. Uh, what, what's, your, uh, what's your opinion on, on all of that? Um, I love Willie. Uh, I've loved watching his tiny chat. I love with those kind of people just, um, you know, trying to actually get to know who they are as a person. Um, I know Willie isn't a great person. Oh, fuck um, no. <laughs> I, but sorry, I like man. him to think, I like him to think that we're like friendly almost. So he won't ban me from his tiny chat. I've been modded there a few times. <laughs> yeah, it's really um, easy uh, to befriend Willie. He really just goes back and forth on how he feels about people. One second, you're his best friend. The next second, you're his worst enemy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And um, I, I guess Ben... Um, well, the other day I said something about how I think he would be good at bagging groceries and he got mad and he said i actually do the carts you fucking idiot so <laughs> um, i'm sure he's good at it i'm sure he's t i'm sure he's good at what he does um it's hot out there right now so that's uh, someone's gotta do it you can't even make that kind of shit up it sounds like a joke like oh you should go bag the grocery carts Dude, i actually uh, i carry the carts dumbass <laughs> yeah um I, I actually haven't really interacted much with Ben. I kind of just watch, but um, it's kind of crazy how Willie and Cheryl live, like, a state away from me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, and um, I'd love to see them in person, just see how they act on the street or whatever. Not, like, interact with them, but just see them from afar in, like, a Walmart or something. I have really mixed feelings about Willie. Like, obviously, I, um, there's, uh, 
and I've uh, I've done research into this shit, but uh, I've just like looked into how um because there is a difference between like you know just fucking around with people. I mean, of course, people you can't you can't uh what is it um you can't uh, the world isn't your um your safe space. You know, people are gonna challenge you and shit. But um, but uh, Willie does take a lot of abuse. Um, but at the same time, like man, like um, he's also kind of like just rude in general. He's um, he's 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 really nice sometimes. Like he talks about fucking rustling and shit. He just uh, he talks about his life stories. But like shit, shit goes wrong, and he's just fucking rude as fuck. Oh, yeah, and, um, you know, those videos of him and Cheryl, that's not okay. Oh, God, um, no. You know, I actually... Well, that's, that's sexual just, abuse. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, and just abuse in general. Um, I, you know, I just thought back on your question about who really gets under my skin. I would have to say it's Wheezy, without a doubt. Wheezy? That, I don't but know he's why. funny. <laughs> um, he's funny, but he's very odd, um, you know... <laughs> He he's seen me on Tiny Chat, uh, <laughs> Yo, like once upon a time, and uh, he screenshotted it. He still has it saved. So Wheezy just has like pictures of me saved. Um, hey, I mean, you he, gotta have some sort of weapon against people on here. I actually I can pull up. He was like uh, DMing me on Discord, and it was just very like. Um, not making sense. Uh, he's probably drunk. Well, I think he's just um, mentally ill. I think he he loves saying sorry. It was my bipolar, and I always say it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But um, he's also written uh, diss tracks on me. Not really? That might still be on YouTube. Yeah, I can Holy send you shit. the link. Um, maybe you can use that for the intro music. <laughs> Oh, for the, your next, Maybe. yeah, I'll, I might use um, it as, as the outro. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, he calls me out by name, and uh, you know those little statuses you can put on Zat with the status power. Um, yeah. He uh, would I would usually put like song lyrics as mine, just like I never know what to put there, and I like the power, so I would just put like lyrics to a song I listened to that day, like um, I once put. Uh, Grateful Dead quote, trouble ahead, trouble behind, and he put that in the diss track. And uh, I had You Should Mind Your Beeswax, which is like a song by Easy Life uh, in my status, and he thought that was about him. Uh, I eventually just put My Dream Threesome is Maury Povich and Dr. Phil, because how can you take that about, you know, how can you take that personally? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Weezy, uh, Weezy's definitely, um, there's something, uh, something going on with him, but I don't know, overall I find him funny. I've, I've seen him get banned, uh, from Discord, uh, the different, uh, Discord chats, and he'll be, uh, he'll be there like, oh, y'all just mad because I look good, y'all ban me for looking good, I ain't, you know, and, uh, I don't know, that shit just cracks me up, I, I, I like, uh, I like Weezy. I, honestly, when I first saw his picture... I thought he was a female. Like, I thought he was, like, one of those really butch, sporty kind of girls um, that doesn't wear a lot of makeup or something. That was the vibe I got until I heard him on mic one day. Um, yeah, he kind of looks like uh, like he'd be uh, Bob Marley's aunt or some shit. Yeah, he actually, um, like, cried sorry, to Weezy. people about me. He cried to people about me on mike in the past people that don't come on anymore but um saying that he loved me and um you know it's weird stuff what? and i never really yeah i never really talked to him like that and um whenever i called him out on like his dumb shit he did uh like he he once came into a chat that i was in and uh he said it was after the uvaldi shooting oh, and he God. said i want to be the first black school shooter and everyone was like bro what the fuck um just very weird because it was just out of left field like yeah. no one was even talking about that shit it was like the day it happened um 
so I was like, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't want anything to do with you, um, after that comment, and, you know, people say a lot of shit, like, I get PMs on Flirt saying I skin kittens and shit, and I think it's funny, um, but, yeah, he's, he's a bit much for me, because I think he's, like, actually mentally ill. Yeah, I think that, uh, that joke is in pretty poor taste, and definitely way too soon, but I will say this, you wanna know what happened to me on, uh, around the time of the Uvalde shooting, I was uh, arguing with uh, this guy who goes around as a Russian hacker or some shit like that. And this little bitch yeah. boy uh, went and sent me, uh, send me uh, I guess he w we were on Tiny Chat. And you know how you can uh, live stream your uh, screen? He, yeah. Uh, he was live streaming the, uh, the shooting that happened at the uh, grocery market where they, uh, the guy was shooting up the black people. Um, oh, right. And yeah. he was showing me that shit because he was being like, oh, fuck trans people, fuck black people. Yeah, I'm racist. I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, all right, dude. I mean, I guess. But I mean, you whatever. But I, I'm just saying, like, there's different levels of shit. I don't I don't really mind. We, I mean, it is in poor taste. But at the same time, like, I like dark humor. But like some people on this chat are uh, actually racist. And that was actually going to be the next topic. Like, do you think uh, flirt chat is racist? Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I guess I'm just lucky because I'm, I'm white, so I don't get the brunt of that. Um, but I have seen it happen a lot, but I, I also see anyone who's, you know, openly black, um, they always stand up for each other and have each other's backs. And I, I think at the end of the day, like, it's just in one ear, not the other. Right. They right. probably hear it all the time. Um, but I, I do like dark humor and I, I get that, you know, if it's either everything's funny or nothing's funny, kind of for me. Um, what do you, uh, but I think what, sorry, uh, I was going to say, I, I think once you like, you know, start saying you want to be the first black school shooter <laughs> and like, you're like, I'm not joking though, saying that it's a bit much. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with the, with the I'm not joking shit. I know that, like, sometimes you can say, like, I'm not joking and still be joking. But I think it's kind of a bad practice to kind of, um, kind of promote online because it kind of allows people, like, I know, uh, Flirt Chat, I mean, not Flirt Chat, but just, uh, Zat in general has been known to be kind of a place where, uh, people can get away with saying just about anything, like, uh, like uh okay fucking coke with his uh i'm a pedo oh i'm joking oh i like i'm attracted to 13 yeah. year olds like come on man like i mean yeah i know he's kind of joking but at the same time i you know you joke about it so much that i can't really tell especially with some of the yeah. shit he said and now he's been like labeled as that and um you know people see him as that um there was somebody last night who was outed as a. Um, a pedophile and flirt that person um cousin bj they use like a boondocks oh. picture um there were screenshots of him going around it was like him adding everyone in a discord server saying anyone under 17 join the vc with me so that's very strange yeah that's pretty sus yeah people in uh he was just getting like really drunk trying not to acknowledge the accusations but that that's very sus. I don't know if um, if this is like too much, uh, too similar to a previous question, but um, is there anyone that should be banned from flirt, flirt chat? I know that no one ever gets banned, but is there anyone you would say should be banned? Um, if I think if someone's gonna get banned from flirt chat, they should probably just be banned from the whole website <laughs> in general. From from life. you're not allowed at flirt. You're probably not wanted anywhere else um gee i don't know though i mean well i do think um i do think free speech online should be pretty um pretty much like the equivalent of uh well at least in our idealized imagination because you don't really have free speech irl either but uh but it should be somewhat similar to being able to go out, like, on the street and, like, you know, ramble about, you know, the conspiracy theories and shit. Like, you should be able to say most shit on the internet, aside from, like, credible uh, threats, I guess. 
Yeah, I um, I don't think anyone should be banned from flirt. I mean, we all know it's kind of a lawless land. Um, I uh, I, I guess if anyone should be banned, it would have to be for like CP or something like oh, that. Sure. You know, I mean, people get swatted and shit. And that's pretty bad too, but um, yeah, I think when it comes to CP, that that should be like a ban from the whole website. I mean, this site is pretty dangerous, and it would be like ideal for someone with like that mindset to use because you know the messages disappear. I don't even know if they're oh, kept. It's in better a log. than fucking uh, Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, it really is, and um. You know, it's it's dangerous in that way. How um, like every the whole conversation conversations can just be can just be gone. We're uh we're heading the uh, the end stretch of this interview, but uh there are you have touched on some things that I've kind of been saving towards the end because um there are things. Well, oh hold on, I have a, a segment before this. Are are you so you're an American, right? Yeah, you're, uh, you're yeah. from America. Do you love America? Um, yeah, I do. I've actually, you know, I've, I was a foreign exchange student in the past, um, for um, about like a month or two. I was in Europe. I went to a, a bunch of different countries, um, and I stayed like with, um, you know, those people that take on like, uh, foreign exchange students to live in their home yeah. and they get money for it. Oh, yeah. Cool. I did some of those like with other people. Uh, you did like, multiple? We were all multiple of those yeah i i yeah i went to um england france wales and ireland so yeah right. four countries that's pretty cool um yeah it was it was fun but it, it was a big big culture shock you know i i it's it's crazy to see how much americans eat because the portion sizes there are insanely different like the amount of food we get at a restaurant, like, just for a dinner is insane. I don't know if you're from America, but, or ever been here, but it's, it's very different with uh, the food in I, general. I am a, a poor, impoverished Mexican who only wishes that I could live in America. Nah, I, uh, I live in Texas. <laughs> uh, bro, everything big uh, as fuck here. I love America. Yeah, you're right. Like, um, you know, Dennis, sorry, I have to bring up Dennis, because, um, just a quick question. Fuck Dennis. True or false? Um, I see a lot of people saying true. I don't really know who he is. Um, I actually wasn't on, like, during COVID and the pandemic and stuff like that, which I surprises me that I didn't even think about this website, like, what's happening on Zat, because I'm, I heard that um, back then it was popping and it was, like, a Zat, like, renaissance or something yeah yeah Almost like... uh, dennis says that, that like he, he he talks about it so fondly like uh, mate listen when i went back on uh flirt chat during the COVID era i created ben i created willie and now everybody copies me they don't have any new ideas you know like he loves uh he loved that shit um no nah, I, I just wanted to bring him up because um he doesn't really like to talk about um, you can kind of force him to talk about other things. I, I, I'd like to talk to him about politics, but he doesn't like to talk about that. He likes to talk about, like, you're ugly, you're fat, you know, that kind of shit. Um, oh, yeah. But, um, but he's kind of, uh, he's a racist. He's, uh, he's from Romania, and, uh, I guess he hates, uh, Jews and gypsies. Uh, and his big thing is uh, ethno-nationalism. He's like, oh, you know, uh, our country's uh, so great. Uh, look at our streets. We have, uh, we've beautified them like Athens. And uh, we have, uh, that's because we have, uh, we're only white people and shit. And, uh, and America is bullshit because you have all these races. And, um, and uh, first of all, like, if you're going to be an ethno-nationalist, how are you going to be from, a, like, some insignificant-ass country that lives at the whims of Russia, China, and the United States? Like, he, 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 uh, he, lived, he says he's an archaeologist and doesn't know fundamental things about human history. Fuck Dennis. I don't like him. And, yeah, and, there's know, no way one more thing. to be an archaeologist and not know the basics about 
all history from like all over the world i think that's kind of in school just rammed into your head um if that's what you're studying um right but yeah i i've never really talked to him but you know he if he says he made Willie and made Ben, if it wasn't if it wasn't him, it would have been someone else. Nah, here's the here's the thing of nah, I don't know because here's the thing about Dennis, and this is the thing I don't know if you know this, I um, but basically one of the things, the key components to the to the story of Willie, is that at some point while he was being harassed, um, they kind of, like, convinced him to, uh, to kind of, like, attack Cheryl or some shit like that. I think, like, he punched her. I haven't seen the video. I don't want to see the video. Uh, but what I've known is that, uh, Dennis, whenever he, uh, he talks about this, he'll admit, like, I was the one that made him do that. Like, I, I am the one that, uh, it, I'm the reason why they call him a wife beater or, uh, you know, a woman beater. And, um, and so that's kind of, like, um how I've uh, gotten to know Dennis as. Yeah, he might have had an influence, but, you know, Willie is his own person, (laughs) and I feel like most people would be like, no, I'm not going to hit my girlfriend or wife or whatever she is, his uh, caretaker, I don't know. I'm sorry, but Um, Willie's fucking, he's fucking dumb, bro. Like, I mean... You can convince him to do all to- sorts of shit, but I still think it's kind of, like, messed up for him to do that. Yeah, but, you know, at the end of the day, I I kind of think it's on, you know, Willie's family, whoever they are. They they should know how he is and um, what he's like and that there, there are bad people out there on the internet and in real life, you know. There's probably people in his real life in the past that have, convinced him to do just as horrible shit yeah, fair enough. because it is it is funny i mean i like dark humor too but you know once it starts hurting other people like that's kind of fucked up you know sure, you're sure. trying to influence someone to beat on someone else but you know like i said maybe he hasn't been on much because his family might have stepped in because i think it got really bad um for him and Cheryl. It, I mean, it got to the point where they were just breaking down every day and just screaming and screaming. And I don't know how your head doesn't, like, kill after that. Yeah, you know, um, now that you're talking about, like, you were talking about how Willie um, does share a lot of responsibility for that. One time, uh, we were fucking, uh, we were on his uh, tiny chat and uh, we were watching him just uh he wasn't even paying attention to us we weren't saying shit to him he was just on instagram and he was like G- get off go go away stop stop talking to me and bro like i uh, we basically like speculated that he's just uh he has like a bunch of uh bots on his instagram you know how like uh you might get like uh a bot like hey handsome uh, come sleep with me or some sh- uh, some bullshit like that uh, and, yeah and he'll just be like responding to those and like it's a fucking bot. Like, you, it, it's gonna keep responding. Like, you, it, 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 he would basically keep responding to them until he blocked them. It's like Willie. Like, nobody's fucking with you. You're doing this to yourself. Yeah, you know. Sometimes though, I mean, I love um, bots and like scams like that. I love getting them because there are some times where, you know, it's actually. A real person on the other end and you think it's a bot Mm -hmm. um (laughs) that happened to me recently i actually um the day after my ankle surgery i woke up and um let me find it in my phone i had a message from someone saying that they were like hey i met you at a party um i go by the name lucky wang and um sorry for just contacting you now and um they and I said, "Is that name Chinese?" I was like on morphine and shit. I woke up from surgery like not too long ago, and um, they said, "Yeah, that name's Chinese." I'm, my parents are from Hong Kong, uh-huh. and I guess I just said I I was so fucked up on painkillers, and I thought it was funny. I said, "You have the wrong number." I hate Chinese people, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't true at all. I actually love Chinese people. I think they're adorable. All like all Asians, they're they're amazing. Um. 
but yeah, he was like, why don't you hate Americans? Are you, are you European? And I was like, no, you're American. I'm American. And, uh, I just got into it with them talking <laughs> shit about each other's countries for like an hour until they gave up. <laughs> Yo, uh, one time I got some random ass call on my phone and I pick up and I hear, uh, I'm like, who it is? And it's like, it's your daddy. And I hang up. And, uh, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And it's like, um, and it's, oh yeah, yeah. I hang up and I text them. I'm not, uh, I'm not interested in, uh, in gay black men. And, uh, he texts back. I was looking for my son, you asshole. Oh my God. Uh, you know, I, I love answering scam calls too. And I love keeping them on the phone and just fucking around with them. It's so great. Um, you know, I've been doxxed a few times, and I've had my phone number put out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I've even had my phone number put on on B on 4chan. Oh, God. And, that's, um, that's pretty bad. I mean, I've had my pictures leaked. Everybody knows about that shit. But um, but I had no uh, no phone, no address, nothing like that, like, put out there. That's, like, t- yeah, it tangible. Yeah, it was pretty much just my phone. You know, I still have the same phone number to this day. I've had it for, like, ten years, and I refuse to get rid of it because of, like, randoms calling me or whatever. Who knows? It could be fun one of these days. Yeah, right? You know, I've gotten, like, you know, people would just start trying to fuck around with me, and then they'd realize, you're actually not that bad. Why are we fucking with you so much? So I've actually, like, made friends through being doxxed in the past. Yeah, it's um, uh, it's an interesting place. I mean, uh, is that um, sometimes it kind of looks like uh, they call it, like they say like, oh, I, I ruled that, but not really. Like, um, it's always changing. It really depends on what kind of people are on at the time. Um, people will leave, and you'll have like old people come back, and you know, sh- uh, shit will turn. Um. I did want to read something before finishing off uh, this podcast because this was something that I I learned about and I don't know if people really know this about Zat, but basically uh, in 2015, there was a a data breach from uh, Zat. This is an uh, excerpt from an article about that. Basically says, uh, the American web hosting service 100TB.com is on the defensive in federal court after a consumer or a customer, the social network Zat.com suffered multiple breaches. It says came via a social engineering attack that allowed an unidentified hacker to wipe servers, steal intellectual property, and erase logs. Um, and it basically talks about how, um... So 100TB is uh, Zat's parent company, and Zat.com would basically tell them, like, hey, we have these security breaches and shit or uh, whatever. But um, at a certain point, like, uh, an Id- unidentified, you know, third party, like, got access to this shit, and they got access to people's, like, um, emails and shit. And they basically managed to crash, like, uh, servers so that, like, no information could be gained. And... Um, I just like I don't know I don't know if you guys know any about anything about this um, because I know that Memory Lane um, he's one of the interesting characters from uh, Flirt Chat but I know that he keeps around some of that information like I think it was made available or some shit like that I don't know. Um yeah I actually heard about that last night for the first time. Oh wow. Um I've heard of other people having that information and. You know, I think at this point, it's so old if you've, you know, changed your password and shit like that, you're Mm -hmm. probably fine. Um, I mean, I think it's more so concerning that, you know, Zat really doesn't care about its users. They don't update shit. The smileys always look like shit. You know, there could be more, like love and care put into they this get, website they get money from people right like people pay them for the powers and shit yeah yeah so it's like you know where is all this money going because you know it's not being put back into the website hardly ever they have a mobile app that's absolute dog shit um you know it's unfortunate because i feel like it could be so much more if it was ran properly but 
I think maybe they don't want it to be more because they know, like, the, you know, people who are higher up in Zat, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think they know that it's not always used for good interactions and they don't want to bring attention to their website because, you know, it could easily get shut down they want to they want to keep it in like a a, like a semi like dead state where like it looks dead but it's actually active and they're getting money from it but they don't have to really like um if they were to get any bigger you're basically you're saying that like these things would come to light yeah like if it were to get it would have to get um way bigger because i mean it was pretty big in the past and you know people had found it through different interests and stuff like that usually through like wordpress blogs there'd be like a zat chat connected to it um but you know you always see people coming back in on tune saying like i can't believe this website is still up it's so dead and you know it's not dead if you find like the little nooks and crannies where people like to hang out like flirt yeah well um they uh you have the featured page which will give you like the popular chats i guess right yeah yeah that that page too um but uh one thing that i did want to get into again uh, before leaving is uh i don't know like people on zat don't really talk about anything they just like and i'm not i'm fine with that uh but at the same time like there's some real shit going on in the world like um one thing in particular, uh, foreign countries trying to hack us, trying to gain our information. Um, for uh, you know, it's not really known who who got all that information from Zat uh, Zat dot com. Like it, it could be just like some random hacker from the website that you know. Uh, it could be like a fucking company that wants to you know uh, use people's information to sell them shit, or it could be fucking China that just wants to like. Uh, keep tabs on what's going on i don't know but um i don't know like uh do you ever uh uh, really talk about that kind of shit i i don't know like uh what's the i know people it's taboo to talk about politics but come on man (laughs) uh have in a way i guess um for me at least with american politics i i haven't ever voted i've never voted uh in like a presidential election or even anything local well, voting's a um, scam yeah i don't want to be on the voter registration list i don't you know and because i've never voted i don't feel like i can you know go hating on whoever is in office because i didn't even try to prevent that or mm-hmm. you know try to make a difference by voting um but I guess I've just never seen anyone run recently that has made me really want to vote for them. So I think I'm kind of waiting to vote until I really agree with someone. Um, it's just a lot of bullshit right now. You they're, know? All, they're all old as fuck. Like, even fucking yeah. Bur- Bernie's ass was, like, old as fuck. Um, they're, all, they're old, and the other thing is that they're, like, not with the common people like uh not even not even just like with the policies but just like the way they behave like fucking hillary clinton saying pokemon go to the polls um yeah you need like um they're, it's because they're all like part of this bubble like and the 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 reason why trump was such like um an outsider or at least he appeared to be was because of the way he talked like he was crass he didn't have like this um uh, false decorum that, like, you know, news people have where they have to talk all proper and they can't say curse words and, you know, uh, and that's all that shit's fake and it comes across fake. Um, yeah. But the, you know, we're running out of time, you know, the Chinese police is uh, banging down my door for, you know, talking about them and shit, they're gonna come arrest me. So, um, yeah. I have one final segment and I'm gonna uh, call it Zat Word Association. And I'm just going to name a couple people, like, uh, it's like a, a small list of people from Zat, and just uh, kind of give me a word that kind of pops up when uh, when I say that. So uh, I'll try not to think about it too hard <laughs> and just say a word. <laughs> okay, um, Zolly. Um, Ugly and racist. 
Ooh, I'd say smut, but like in a good <laughs> way, like in an endearing way. Like I think she's a proud smut. Uh, what about so maybe she's proud? <laughs> what about immune to what wiles? Wills? How do you how do you pronounce that shit? Oh, Ronald. Yeah. Um. Ugly and racist. I think he's constipated. <laughs> Emotionally. He's just always, yeah, he's like emotionally constipated. All right. What about Wheezy? Ugly and black. Unhinged. Hey, hey, oi, oi, oi! What do you do? 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 Nisa. Skinny. Kind. Willie. Willie. Yeah. Um. Friendly. Get off now. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I. That's all I can think of. Get, Get off, off now. now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People, so just people, now. <laughs> people are funny as fuck. Like when they spell it with the e. Like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that shit, yeah. Like, so, so meow. True. <laughs> uh, fake. Ben. A fake. <laughs> um. You bald. said. Oh, I thought you said fake. My bad. No. Uh. Bald. Um. Path seeker. Path seeker. You will never be a woman. Um, European. <laughs> he just acts like a straight up European white person. Um, uh, uh, Mike. Wheelchair. Um, I would say NASCAR because we were actually really getting into it talking about NASCAR the other day. So that, that was just why that word came to mind. Um, I, but you know what? I would use the word misunderstood. Right, right, yeah. Uh... Yeah, he's uh people really need to give him a give him a chance, you know. Yeah. Um Bulldog. Oh my god, I'd say OG old timer. I've seen that name for years and years and years. Um he's uh one of the people I definitely disagree with him, but he's actually um he's actually like um I wouldn't say fun to talk to, but he's he's engaging to talk to. I'd say like he um he's polite. yeah yeah he engages in conversations pretty well, like a normal person. Uh, Dennis, I know you don't know much about him, right? Um, yeah, no, I don't. Um, I guess I would say manipulative because you know he acts like he controlled Willie. So if he wants to paint that picture. Dennis is a white devil. Yeah, I think he would like that description. What about Coke? Congrats on that new house of yours, you pedo monkey. Um... I think he's sarcastic. I think he's sarcastic about a lot of things, and people don't see it. Right. So, so you don't think he's actually a pedo? You think, like, he's just, like... He's joked about it so much that, like, he's kind of, like, pigeoned him, himself into that kind of, uh, image. Maybe. Maybe, but, like, you have to be some sort of fucked up to say that. I think, uh, I, I, man, I think he means what he says. Like, uh, he jokes about it, he exaggerates it, and obviously, like... I think he thinks that he has like moral boundaries when it comes to it. Like uh, I think he does. He does have like actual like disagreements with the uh, like age of consent. Um, but I think he kind of like he doesn't really want to like tell you exactly what he believes. So he just kind of like jokes and like exaggerates. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's definitely just something that's gone on for too long to the point where it makes people really question it. Um, yeah, it's just gone on way too long. And, you know, I, I recently came back after like five, six years of not being on. And, um, I came back in early May and it, it you know, the Coke being a pedophile thing is still going on. That's, that's even long for me. You so know, I can't even imagine it going like on longer. To, uh, I like to think that I contributed to that because uh, when I started saying that shit, like people weren't really on that shit. So um, I feel like I kind of brought it back, but that's just me. Well, I mean, if, if it, I mean, I guess it's good attention is being brought to it. What about uh, Sabrina? Real woman. Um, I think she's 
misunderstood too. Um, I guess I I'd say she's like she's feisty. Yeah, I'd say she's feisty because she you know she says a lot of shit and she takes a lot of shit. True. Yeah, I've seen her. I've seen her uh, out there. You know, dishing it out. Yeah, and I I've heard it, there's sometimes where she'd be like, I just want to argue with someone right now. So uh, yeah, she is go, doing that, like going on flirt and doing that shit. Like it's kind of ballsy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So of course people have just been ripping her apart, you know, every chance they get because she's looking for she's always looking for the smoke. Oh, uh, how about insomniac? Bad role play. Um. Very bad role play. Uh, I would say pedophile, just straight up. <laughs> yeah. Not even questioning. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's move on. I don't. I don't want to talk about Insomniac no more. I or I say he's an anime fan. Like he's a weeb, right? I mean, he had a Dragon Ball Z wedding, so he's a weeb. What? Yeah, that Hold picture. Oh fuck of, on um, what? <laughs> There's like a picture of him and his wife and they married and they're both in like Dragon Ball Z jumpsuits or some shit. Okay. I mean, <laughs> bro, I don't know cuz he he looks like he's goofy looking, but at least he looks human, but I don't know what to say about the other one, but I'm just going to I'm just going to move on. So uh <laughs> How about Win? Um I love Win. I <sighs> I guess I would say she's 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 spicy. I like I like what she has to say all the time. She'll just be like, you know, people will say shit. She's just like your mama. <laughs> We're nearing the end. Uh, Minerva. That's uh, Minerva's one that like is uh, wasn't on for a while and she's been back. Um, I actually don't know who that is. Oh shit. Um, so, yeah, she was, uh, guess... she was one of the people that was actually, uh, we were cool with, uh, I was cool with them when I first came on, uh, and she's, uh, come back, so, you know, winds of change, but, um, okay, the last one is Achilles. Oh my god, I hate him. I hate <laughs> him. He's, I just hate. Makes me angry. I don't hate many people, like, I don't even hate Wheezy. And I said he gets under my skin. Right. But you know what? That That's someone who gets under my skin. Um, I, I don't even remember exactly who he is. I probably remember if I saw him on a chat or some shit. But um, I do, like, I did remember putting his name on here. Like, who the fuck's Achilles? He loves just raging about politics. and. Um, oh, I know who he is. He's the fucking guy yeah. that posts the paragraphs about, like, the Democrats and Biden yes. and shit. But, you know, this guy was actually arrested in the past for, like, um, some child predator what shit. I don't know exactly what, but, yeah, he's been arrested, and um, he just recently came back to Zat um, since, you know, he was arrested. Um, I remember him being on way back when I was a kid, and he would be trying to message me um, when I was underage, and I... And even then, I was like, you're fucking weird. Um, but yeah, he he's very strange. And he'll still PM me, like, pretty frequently and just be like, you're my wife and, like, <laughs> shit like that. And I just... And then he'll leave the chat or, like, go offline so I can't even reply. Um, yeah, it's just very strange. He's, he's very strange. And um, he has a YouTube channel. I don't know what it is, but he, like, rages about politics on his YouTube channel. Oh, he might, uh, he's like kind of like, um, he's kind of like conservative me, I guess. Um, I, I think he's more of like a diehard Republican, um, kind of person. He's more Republican than conservative? Yeah, even more than that, like, just, I, like, like he could be, if he could be an elephant, he would. Like, that's how much he <laughs> loves. <laughs> like that's the vibe i get um i feel like it's you said he, like he got arrested and so y'all like no shit about him from real life I, I i always feel like it's kind of a gimmick like uh he probably is like racist and sh or well i don't know like he's yeah he's racist but like um he probably does believe some of the shit he says but i think most of it is kind of uh kayfabe like he um 
he kind of just uh he kind of like just likes to say shit and like trigger people i guess um i i think the only one triggered though is him like he's the only one who's actually seems angry all the time and he'll like say shit and then leave before anyone can get triggered like he just leaves the chat yeah maybe he's just venting to us all yeah but that does um that will conclude this uh, episode because the police coming after me and shit i gotta get out of here so um good looking out uh maddie this was a great conversation and uh hopefully uh you know maybe uh you'll do uh You'll do another episode with Altair. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's probably OD'd out somewhere. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, I'll be heading out now, and we're gonna play the- Oh yeah, send me the link to that uh, Wheezy thing so I can play it for the outro. Yeah, well, I, I'll do that right now. <laughs> right. I gotta find it. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and head out, though, so see you guys later. Take care. Bye. Uh, uh, Maddie, uh, how I go from being a uh, shooty and a good person to being dangerous and unhinged, uh, but fuck all that, I'm gonna use that as motivation to really go in, and you got this Prince Big Game Army who had the beef with me, then racist fucking kid, uh, then you got that fool names off who lacks a bunch of knowledge and has the nerve to disrespect my mom when his is dead and gone, yeah, that was a stupid thing to say, man, but hey, we know that you're missing a chunk of your fucking brain, I'll stay the fuck out my way and move the fuck to the side, time for me to really rhyme, you're talking shit online cause you're too scared to pull up in real life and collide and dispute cause you know the words I'll say will have your ass on you. Uh, yeah, I got that anger. Yeah, I got that intensity and no precious delivery. <laughs> you ain't fucking with me, cause I'm too much of a motherfucking entity. Yeah. If you're talking about busting guns, you're not a real man that just shows that you're too scared to throw fucking hands. Cause you know if you confront me in person, I'll whoop your ass. Huh? And with this rap shit, you most definitely won't ever stand a chance. So fly, no telling what I land. They fear what they don't understand, but I still had the fucking upper hand. And that's the bottom line. Other beats almost over months at a time. But hey, I got some shit off my chest, and I'ma proceed. To go down is one of the best Yeah, I'm gonna go down as the best to spit Drop a little extra shit Possessing a track like Exorcist <laughs> I'm a flow king You are just peasants And I got all these motherfuckers Mad at my presence Mad at my fucking existence But well, fuck it They all hypocritic nimwits <laughs> And anyone can go to hell To anyone that said Weezy kill yourself Uh uh The world won't be a better place without me And shout out to the people Who love to doubt me Uh And shout out to them racists Who keep it too basic Uh Almost lost my train of thought But I'm still a fucking boss And I still like the flaws Teeth sparkling white I'm a shiny grind, and I'm a fucking guy, and I'm a sis on mine, and if you fuck with me, huh, I'll pull up to your fucking school, and shoot you like Columbine, so it's fucking best to leave me alone, and let me put on this show, and just let me do my thing and flow, gone.